right, and we're going live here. Okay, we should be going live because it says live. So it says live and up in the corner. I feel live. I bet Jen feels alive. You're going to have a great time today. Um, just wanted to um, welcome everyone to We Deliver Houston. want to mention our sponsor, morenmonthlybusiness.com. They have two specials this month. One to uh, make your website ADA compliant. The others get more instant callbacks from your website. So you can go over to More Monthly Business, check that out. Give us a holler. We'll talk to you about that. But right now, I'm excited because you better be excited because Jen's coming on. And we want to bring Jen on. Uh, let me bring her on here. Jen, Jen, Jen. There you are. Hello, hello. There's Miss Jen. She's she's our energy for today. <laughs> if you need energy, Jen will, Jen will energize you up and, and get you going. So uh, this is Jen Gode from... Go Day Coaching Services, correct? Yep, Jen Go Day Coaching Services. You've got it. All right. Well, that's a mouthful. You say it better than I. You do it better than I do. So let me ask you this, just to get started out. Um, how are you and your family doing? How's everything going there? We're doing exceptionally well. Super blessed that we are healthy and safe. Um, and while some of us have been impacted a little bit economically between the oil and gas and the COVID, uh, we are very strong and blessed to be able to take care of one another. How about That's, yourself? Oh, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun making these live streams for everybody because it's, it, I, you know, you know, my, my thing, get up, move the focus from fear back to freedom. Okay. Absolutely. Move the focus from fear back to freedom. I know that's that's what you do too. That's part of what you do as well. I mean, I was in I was on the speaking circuit for over oh, twenty years, going around doing what you're doing now. So, so it's 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 great to be here with you. So, let me ask you this: I know that you've shifted a lot since this has started. So, uh, share with us how it was before. And how it is now with all the weirdness going on. <laughs> I definitely think weirdness is the word of the day. Yeah. <laughs> so before I was doing a lot of international travel, I was doing a lot of speaking, um, small stages, big stages, all of the things. Um, and really and truly enjoying a whole heck of a lot. Uh, being on stage, being at events, meeting a whole bunch of new people in person. And then... COVID hit and now we're staying healthy, staying safe and kind of quarantining all of ourselves. And so the big shift has been to pretty much all digital. You know, before probably about 70% of my coaching business was digital, but I still had like retreats and some in-person um, coaching sessions. And now it's 100% digital. Can't say that I really love 100% digital, um, but it's definitely allowed me an opportunity to serve. What's going on now is I'm pretty much doing almost exclusively business and life coaching. Uh, and in the business side, I'm helping businesses to shift, to pivot, to really find their um, quickest path to revenue and survive this quarantine and position themselves to thrive on the other end. So, you know, streamlining, looking at what, what services and offerings are really their high profit and, and how they can move forward and set themselves for success. And on the life coaching side in the business, we're really focusing on uh, reaching out to people, offering free 30 minute coaching sessions for anybody who's having trouble with stress management, uh, with routine, with just kind of normalizing as much as they can. Because with every crisis, um, the uncertain, the uncertain aspect of it tends to produce fear. And just like you like to shift fear to fun and freedom, uh, we kind of say that uncertainty result can result in fear. The antidote to, to fear is action. The antidote to anxiety is activity. And so we really talk about getting out of your head and into your body. How can you move? How can you, um, sort of sift through the clutter and and start to re-energize and do some things that make you feel a little bit more normal while we're socially distanced. Um, and then the other real side of it is that social distancing is not social isolation. So what we're finding is 
a lot of people feel like they're isolated and they're kind of self-isolating and not sharing what they're feeling because they just maybe don't feel safe or comfortable or maybe they see that other people seem to have it all together. And the reality is each and every one of us is in this together. Um, and so myself and my coaches, we've been trying to help individuals and groups with stress management, healthy boundaries, transitions, and moving through the challenges and fears that we face today so that we really can thrive, not just survive during this uh, challenging time. I, I, tol I totally agree with you. A lot of my videos that I do on YouTube and stuff like that deal with moving from the head into the body uh, and then learning how to uh, get neutral with it and shift it and become comfortable with uncertainty. Once you become comfortable with uncertainty, uh, you, it's a lot easier to move through everything. It gives you a lot more flexibility. And the more flexibility is, you are in a system, the more the more you exert control over that specific system. So, um, and I, I appreciate you telling a lot of the things I was going to ask next. What do you, what do you, but that's okay. What are you doing now as far as, and you're offering the free stuff. And uh, I, I know a lot of the things that you're doing to help, off, to help businesses and stuff like that, just to let you know that pretty soon you should be able to very soon, because we're already, we're already setting people up with that to do uh, coaching for large corporations, just like you're doing right now with some of the things that I'm involved with, the, that I'm involved where you do with the whole group. Uh, we're setting it up for, uh, we're setting up coaches that way. So I know that's coming for you soon as well. Uh, getting back on the speaking circuit, but you're doing it all virtually. Uh, so it's saving you a lot of travel time. Okay. And money. I money, yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the interesting thing is our, our, our people are still making the amount of money that they were making before. The expenses aren't as much as it was, but they're still making the, the, the good, the good speakers are still making the good money. Okay. Uh, with the, with the big corporations. So, uh, would you explain a little bit more about I know one of your passions right now is to help individuals, not necessarily the business, but the individuals that are uh, struggling with this, uh, whether they're not getting enough vitamin C and not enough potassium, whatever it is they're not getting, what they're doing, the direction their mind's going and how you, what you're doing right now to help people, as you said earlier, and I totally agree with get out of here and get down into here. So, how are you doing that right now? Right. So that's a fantastic question. Um, a lot of it, I have been offering some workshops, but uh, through through workshops and coaching just and, and sharing all over my social media. So between YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever I can share the information, I am trying to share the information about different ways that we can get out of our head into our body. Because as, as you all know, when we um, when we want to change our psychology, we change our physiology. So I'm a huge proponent of vitamins, fresh air, sunshine, and movement. Uh, some of the, some of the quick tips are, you know, whenever you're starting to feel a little down or like a, you're not energized or, or like you're in your head, just getting up and changing your physiology. So standing up, you know, doing a couple of squats, turning on your favorite tune and, and dancing like nobody's looking, like have your own private dance party, um, anything that can kind of shift you into movement because as we know when we're just kind of sitting in it and we're stuck in our head uh it's really hard to kind of pattern interrupt and break so using movement a change in scenery just getting out outside going for a short walk um and then the other thing that we're really encouraging is just because we're social distance doesn't mean we're social isolated so it might just be a drive-by you're having dinner your friends having dinner and you're in two separate cars a parking space apart from one another so you're far enough away you unroll the windows and you can at least see each other face to face instead of across a screen um so any kind of creative out of the box solution to kind of get a little bit more connectivity um the other really big thing that we're finding is helpful is establishing a new routine because even i i posted about this last night yesterday i started knowing it was wednesday and by seven o'clock at night i was so convinced it was thursday evening and when i realized oh no it's still wednesday i kind of was bummed out <laughs> it's like wait a minute i've got a whole other day that i have to get through um but to shift my head out of that we went for a walk 
and just got outside and noticed, you know, the sky's a little bit brighter right now. You can see the stars in Houston, which we weren't able to really do two months ago. So um, there are a whole lot of positives there. But getting some sort of a routine has been so pivotal for most of our um, clients and, and most of the community members that we've been speaking to, because when we're not living and working and existing solely in our own home, Sometimes maybe we get up, we get dressed, we drive somewhere to work or we drive to a networking meeting or maybe it's we just go out to eat and that whole routine has shifted. So setting ourselves for success by getting up in the morning and having a set morning routine in this new normal um, has been so critical to managing stress because as human beings, we love routine. We may be, you may be thinking, oh no, 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 don't put me in a box. I don't like a routine. I hate to be scheduled. I'm not suggesting hyper schedule. But having something that every morning, what I do is I wake up, I say my gratitudes, or I have my intention setting for the day. Maybe I read something inspiring. I have a cup of coffee and then I have breakfast. That could be your routine. And it doesn't have to have times associated with it. But just having some sort of a routine that's very similar to when we're outside of the house as well can be very grounding for us. And our human body craves that routine, especially if we've got children. Children do so much better with routine. And, you know, if you imagine all the things that are going through your head, imagine being a child and you're not going to school, you're not getting the socialization, you can't play with your friends. Um, like the normalcy that, that comes by having some sort of routine is just something our human body, our physiology craves and remembers. And so that has been really, really super important. And the other thing that's been extremely helpful is when you work from home, the lines between work and home uh, life become a little bit blurred. So scheduling breaks during your work day and um, really sort of having a boundary be between, okay, I'm not gonna work in the bedroom. The bedroom's gonna be my safe haven. Um, I'm gonna do work in this space. Or even for the children or the kids who are homeschooling, they're gonna homeschool in this space at this desk, have a defined space so that they know that when they're there, it's kind of like your brain goes to, okay, I know I need to focus on schoolwork or, or work activities. And then the rest of the house and the rest of the backyard, whatever can be your safe haven where you can just relax and enjoy yourself and have family time or, or whatever. Um, it is that is your best. So really just scheduling some breaks, having boundaries around when you're working and you're not working with regards to your space and your time, and then establishing that routine can be so pivotal in, in minimizing our stress throughout this um, and really helping us get through to the other side. And I, I agree with everything that you say. I, I, 100% it's absolutely accurate in, in the fact that movement does create change and shift because we are in uh, being in duality. It's a matter of moving from one polarity to the other polarity. And you see where you get stuck in the middle and you learn how to move around that and go from that to, to the end results that you're looking to get. So Jen, I want to, I want to say thank you for joining us today and we're, we'll get this out and send this out to more people. Uh, we'll do our backlinking to it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if anybody knows any other businesses that are open during this time, we're doing this at no charge right now for businesses to let people know what they're doing, that they're still alive, they're still active, they're still trying to contribute because most people in our, most small businesses are there for the purpose of service, okay? We all wanna make a living, but we really want to serve the community. We want to help people and that's what we're here for. So we wanna get the word out to, to every business out there that if you're still serving people, we want to get you get the word out for you because that's what we, that's I mean, I do that. That's what Jen does. That's the purpose of of these actual recordings is to help as many businesses as possible get to the community because the community, whatever we can do to get them their focus back on the fun and the freedom that they that they so richly deserve. OK and get away from the hype that's always in their mind. Okay. That's what we want to do. So Jen, do you have any closing words? Oh, I, I just really want to share that with every crisis, you can choose to look at it as a problem, or you can choose to look at the crisis and the disruption as opportunity and solution. And each one of us has a different experience, but we each can choose how we want to experience that. And if we choose to look at the possibilities, the opportunities, 
Um, it just really flavors that the duality you were sharing and, and helps us to move forward in that positive way. If anybody needs anything, needs just a shoulder to cry on or wants to have someone who's just a listening ear, I'm here. Uh, my coaches are here and we are here to serve. So thank you so much for doing this, Dr. Vetter. It's my, it's my pleasure. It's, it's the least I can do uh, to help the businesses that I know and to pay it forward to the community that, that we're all a part of. Because during this time, it's, it's nice to see uh, people that aren't focused on doom and gloom and fear and this and that and the other. And, you know, you know that they're actually there to serve somebody. And help them. So that's what and I appreciate you for all that you do in that area. And that's what we want everybody to know about and to learn about as we continue to do this and show people what's available. And, and because the more we can get them where they're smiling all the time, as you do, okay, <laughs> uh, and get them movement, uh, get them out of their head and into their body, the more they find out that they can relax and, uh, from relaxation, more health follows because the body re uh, does the, the proper proper things when you're relaxed, not when you're tense. And so, Jen, I want to thank you. Uh, everybody will be here tomorrow at four o'clock with John Armour. Maybe we'll get him to play a little guitar for everybody while while he's on while we're on on live. So, uh, thank you, everyone. Jen, thank you for uh, Jen Godet Coaching Services. This is her phone number, her email, and her website. So give her a call. Give her some support. Um, and she, she'll be glad to do a free session with you. And if she needs to do more sessions after that, she'll help you with that. And she'll take care of that. And, and, and it'll, be, it'll be a reasonable price to help you because that's what she's here for. She's here to help you. So thank you, everyone. We'll see you next time on We Deliver Houston. Thank you. Bye.